I do hope you're doing well. You are very far back today because I am surrounded by four huge bags and a giant ice bucket of things for our essentials for moving out, outdoor living, garden, barbecue, all of that jazz. Now a lot of these <laughs> people are probably going to think ain't an essential but for me, thinking of moving into my own home, barbecues, I want to do a lot of hosting. So therefore, I want to be prepared just as much as I am in my indoor kitchen for my outdoor kitchen. We've even got garden games and beer games. We've got everything and anything. We've got novelty bits. We've got stuff that I think you can't go wrong with. And yeah, let's try and sort out if we can bring you just a little closer because otherwise I'm going to be leaning up and down all day and no one wants that. So yes, let's get in. Today's video is the essentials for moving out, outdoor living, garden supplies, barbecue bits and bobs, all of that jazz, my lovely. <laughs> right, so I've had to bring you in here, all right? And I'm just surrounded, to be perfectly honest. We have got two huge bags. I can't even lift that one. We've got a bag here and then we've got a... Ooh, filled up ice bucket so let's just <laughs> let's just go in no particular order shall we so i'm gonna start with the bits that are at that i haven't got to take out the bags and that are ready to go so the first thing these are all from primark this was two pound i just picked up a tropical pong game i think there is nothing better than having a supply of games for outdoors just like i've got a huge box in the back room of indoor games cards trivia everything like that you need some fun for outdoors too didn't you and then the next one i got was five pound down to two quid a tropical fruity toss game no idea just saw it for a couple of quid in primark and you know me i am a sucker some of the stuff here, well, majority of it is from Primark. So whether it's still in stock or anything, I'm not entirely sure. But if I find like dupes or like for likes, I'll leave it all down in the description box below. This, however, was not from Primark. These were from the range, if I believe it or not. Yes, they were $3.99 for four little tumblers. And they are a set of plastic Enjoy Summer Flamingo tumbler glasses. Gotta have a bit of plastic because not gonna lie i haven't been to a barbecue where a glass hasn't been smashed so i always like to have a good stock of plastic supplies just in case someone gets a little bit tipsy and we think you know what we're gonna swap you from the glass to the plastic my darling and nothing wrong with that i've got some quite nice little funky plastic bits but yes the range is great for outdoor living bits that is probably one place apart from primark where i do tend to look for a lot of like the outdoor living and garden inspo love a bit of the range right what are we going to tackle first? Let's do the bag of odds and bobs, shall we? So, these I picked up in B&M, oh my goodness, a couple of Christmases ago. It was $4.99. I've took the condiments out because, as I say, wanted to use those up. But it is a little condiments in the sea set. You're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, this was $4.99. But it's literally, I just think it's so cute. <laughs> it's probably so impractical but i just think it's so cute you've got your little ketchup and mustard bottles you've got a little pot in the middle to put your salt and pepper and i just think it's absolutely divine might not be to everyone's cup of tea but as i say it was christmas time when i bought it so you know what i'm like i just see like all the uh unnecessary took to be perfectly honest and i'm like oh my god i need that talking of that i picked this up from now, was it online pan shop or cherries? I think it was cherries. Sorry, I just ripped my nail. Ow, that hurt. Pick this up from cherries, and this was £5, and it is an ultimate 16 piece gin fling. So I think it's like beer pong, but it says you get four green ping pong balls and 12 green gin glasses. So basically, the rules of the game is exactly like beer pong, but it's a little gin version. So I thought that was very snazzy, and I thought, oh, why not might as well do it you can do it with just the two of yours so if you've got a little more intimate gathering and you haven't got tons and tons of people put a bit of gin pong because it's like beer i don't mind a beer every now and then but partial to a gin or two as you know is it an outdoor living bit if you don't have a plastic fish bowl <laughs> this was i think one pound <laughs> <laughs> this was one pound i think from poundland in their like little outdoor living section but oh my god 
you can't go wrong with a plastic fish bowl can you i mean it's just handy you haven't even got to have it as a fish bowl i think as well these are handy just to put like a big bag of ice in with an ice scoop and then people can just go and like top it up and help themselves but yes plastic fish bowl i have got on my list however i want a big proper glass fish bowl that is what i want that's probably going to be more for like maybe i say indoor parties like a fish bowl's classy or something but hey ho i've got nothing against a plastic fish bowl i would just love like a big proper glass one can i get that who knows we should have to have a look and then pick these up from b and m b and m actually is really good for like that outdoor and summer living bits um especially now as i say because we are coming into like july and august time summer is upon us and they have everything and anything i love at the minute they've got an outdoor tribal range so they've got like all the cushion seat covers big throws big rustic blankets all for outdoor living great prices so i picked up how many have i got two four six have i got six yeah odd amount normally i get eight normally i get four or eight why have i got six i don't quite know but i picked up three different styles two four six eight oh my god i'm so thick yeah i did pick up eight two four six all the lines were merging into one <laughs> So I have picked up eight, and these were one pound each. I've got four of like just this plain tribal design. Absolutely love them. And then I have four, love these, tropical vibes. Look at them, how gorgeous are they? So yes, eight of them. And as I say, you might have more than eight people at a barbecue, but I think these are just great to like, people can have them if you've got an intimate like little gathering for their plates, or these are just great to pop on like, your sausages and bits and bobs and people can just nick knack at them you know so yes one pound each i didn't think that was too bad because as i say they are good quality they're good they don't feel like they're gonna break on you they're ideal for picnics and outdoor use and bpa free whatever that means but yes love them so that's my little stock up of barbecue plates right let's go into the ice bucket shall we so first of all this big ice bucket i actually picked up from iceland a couple of months ago and i think it was about two pound fifty they had red black gray and yellow but i thought you know what go for a red one so i have got this filled with goodies let's start with panland so i have a thing that if i'm serving like burgers or hot dogs anything like that i want it to be like no, I was going to say cultural then. It's not the word. Like, I want the cutlery and the tableware to fit the theme. So I think of, like, hot dogs and burgers as, like, fast food. What better way than to have serving baskets? Absolutely love them. And I say, I picked up two packs of these. Just dropped them. That's great. These were from Poundland. You get two black and two white per pack. And as I say, got two sets of these from the barbecue house section. Tell you what is a really good section as well. Home bargains. They have a good little barbecue section. And all like the barbecue tools and sauce condiment pots and everything like that. They're really good to look out for. And Matalan. Oh my god, I forgot about these. I didn't pay £2 though. I think I got these on offer when they was down to like a quid for four. But I got proper hot dog trays. How cute are they? So you just pop your hot dog in. And then what I do need which is on my list, I like little chip baskets, oh my god, I would love them, like a nice little hot dog tray in your chip basket, how cute, but yes, I think I picked those up for a four, for one pound, but they're normally four for two, so not too terrible there, my lovelies, and then we've got cutlery, because you know what, we all need a bit of cutlery, don't we, and I think I have plenty more cutlery, so the first set I think my aunt and uncle actually gave me this set. Um, big set of lovely green cutlery. And you know what? These are going to be great, especially for the salad bowls. Which I may or may not have one or two in here. Who knows? But, camera. Oh my god, Canon, you're dying on me. Don't do this. Let me quickly change the battery and I will be back with you, my lovelies. <laughs> Sorry about that, my lovelies. To say Canon was just dying on me. I was rabbiting too much. So, have cutlery. I think there is some more cutlery elsewhere. But you know what? The main important thing for outdoor living, well, for me anyway, shot glasses. I just picked these up from either Card Factory, believe it or not, or Poundland, your bargain shops. 
good to go my lovelies and also oh i forgot about these i got some jaeger bomb glasses i think these are definitely pound land i mean people if you're not a drinker you're probably thinking that's a complete waste of like time and that which it might be but for me i just like it so it keeps it a little bit fun you know and then these oh my god these are novelty but i just saw them and i couldn't say no i picked up a pack of four let me just show you two they're little shot glasses but they're glass in the size of a pint glass look at them how cute are they so we've got them and i just forgot you know i was saying like my hot dogs with my chip baskets I haven't got my chip baskets, but what I have got from Matalan, these were £1.50 each, little hot dog matching sauce buckets. <gasps> oh, so I've got them, so I definitely need to get some chip baskets now, which I can pick up in Home Bargains, I've seen they do chip baskets. So that's not a problem. Ikea, good old Ikea. Again, I don't know why. You're going to see a theme throughout these uh, little hauls. I get a lot of his and her stuff, but I don't know why I need a his and hers ice cream scoop. Probably because we both love ice cream and we'll moan if one of our scoops break. But I picked these up from Ikea. I think they're about £1 or £1.50 because they're a good, they're like, they're sturdy. They're not going to break on you when you try and do them. So yes, Ikea is fab as well. <gasps> oh my God, these are like my most precious find of home bargains this was probably on one of my very first hauls if you remember it please do let me know extendable forks they were one pound each but look look at this i think i had people in the comments saying to me like they were back scratchers and everything like that and i was like no i'm going to be standing there at the buffet and then you can have it pop down and if you see something and you can't quite reach over everyone excuse me coming through i've got me little extendable fork these <laughs> they're so novelty aren't they these are not an essential my lovelies but they were an essential for me when i saw them for a quid can't go wrong and i cannot wait to use them and have our first barbecue and just be like one momento please Doink. thank you probably get some strange looks but hey ho what i've got in here a random pack of little umbrellas They've probably come from a little cocktail set or something, but hey ho. Oh, what have we got around here? Oh, you know this if you've seen the B&M haul, my lovelies. Two pound, a little fishy tray. This, as I say, I could see with my grilled prawns on or some salmon because I love fish and seafood on the barbecue. I don't know about you. Just tastes sublimely different. And then these, I did not pay £3 for these. These were from Matlan as well, but I probably picked them up for £1.50. And it's just a set of cocktail stirrers. So we've got some flamingos there and some pineapples there. Absolutely love them. Yeah, I wouldn't have paid £3 for them. I'm probably guessing like one fifty when I've got the uh, little hot dog trays. Right. Oh, another little dish from B&M, my lemon dish. Remember this? If I said, like, I'll have some aioli or a little lemon dip. Oh, oh, my God. Sorry, my lovelies. I've got a new pair of lashes on. And you know what? Like, it irritates my eye. And it probably doesn't help because half of this stuff needs a good clean. Because so it's come out of the cupboard on the stairs. And it's probably a little bit dusty. But hey-ho. So we have our big ice bucket. And then I've also got... Oh, my God. I do apologise. Right, can we get back to it? Yes. I picked up two drinks buckets. Now, these were from panshop.com, I think. And the first one, I don't want to get it all the way out, is a Strongbow one. So, perfect for our cider drinkers. And then the second one, I think, is a Soul. So, for like the little lagers. So, these, I think, are more ice buckets. But, you can still use them and put your uh, bottles in there. And I think because B has quite like a large group of boys, I think if like, say, I don't know, football's on or something like that, or if something's around ours, you can just put your bottles in there, put a bit of ice and it will keep them quiet, you know? And then obviously I've got the dinner plates on B&M, so I needed matching bowls. So these were, how much were you? You not got your price on. I think these were £1.50. So I got two medium sized bowls which are the tropical vibe. Love a bit of that. Reminds me of Lilo and Stitch and Hawaii vibes. And then I've got two large serving bowls and these were 2 49 
and these are once again more tropical but they go with either style of the plates so i am pretty much well and stocked up for that and then we have from primark how much were you seven pound i would not have paid seven pound for this i've got a feeling i got this for maybe 350 or 450 and it's just a large salad bowl Again, I've gone very with the tropical vibes, but it's all pink outside. So you know me, absolutely love that. And I think somewhere, sorry, I've just had another bag decide to fall on me, which was full of glasses, which wasn't good. So every little noise, I'm like, ah! and I think somewhere, let me just, ah, here they are. I got the matching salad tongs. So these were 350, but I think, again, I must've paid like maybe 152 quid. I've got the big salad servers with that salad bowl. Primark coming through, my darling. Right, let's just pop that there because otherwise we're going to have no room on here, are we, my lovelies? So, oh, what do we go for next? These, oh my God, I've had these for forever and a day. But you know what? I just love them. I just absolutely love them. So I think these were from Primark, as I say quite a few years back but they always seem to bring back some form of disney outdoor living themed so always keep an eye out because you might be able to find something in there but i've got two large plates we've got a pink one and a blue one these are perfect just for like putting snacks in and bits and bobs like that and then i've got a four pack of little tumbler glasses and i think somewhere in here too is some ice cream cones or ice cream pots i think i'm sure there's something like that in there but yes four glasses as well and i think they were three or four pound for the plates and three or four pound for the glasses but you always pay a bit more when it's like disney or a theme don't you so can't go wrong at that these where did i get these from i think i got these one year for christmas in like a little movie night inset so it's like two little popcorn holders but i've put these with the outdoor living but they would probably just be in the house for like whenever we fancy because say me and B are partial to a bit of sweet corn he loves sweet i like salty so we always have our separate little bowls and i think i would just keep these so what i would say is like when it comes to christmas time if you know someone who's moving out or something i always think it's great to look down like the food and drink gifts they say because obviously it's stuff that they can use but a lot of them come with like little holders or like coffee mugs stuff that they can keep so i always think they're really good gifts but yes if not i'm sure you can pick these up from like amazon pan shop probably even your local supermarket everyone loves a bit of popcorn don't they i mean i don't know why i need these just yet it's not like they're going out of fashion but i've got a three pack of toothpicks i think i picked these up because they were gray and red and that was kind of the vibe i was going for so yes we've got cocktail sticks oh here we go here is my ice cream scoops oh are they stuck no they're not so i've got four ice cream cups with the little matching spoons look how cute they are they've got little mini ears on them so i've got a little disney set i mean these are probably going to be great not necessarily for the adults so if we have any kids come to our home that can be like their little section right i've got a couple of like cocktail shakers and pitchers can you tell why so the first one i think this was like a free gift with purchase when i bought a bottle of pims a few years ago and it is literally just a big pim's picture i do want oh i didn't realize that tells you on the back how much to fit it where and when what to put in love that i have got on my list though i want like a big glass pitcher you know one of the ones that go up and then they're like really bulbous on the bottom that's what i want but for now i've got a little plastic pitcher and then i've also got this was from primark i think no was you primark b and m actually this might have been and i think this was five pound just a summer drinks dispenser so this is great you can either have it for the alcohol or if you've got any kids could fit it with juice that could be a fun way for them like with their little disney cup and that always try to think ahead ain't i i'm slowly losing room on here but oh well and then what are these oh these it's a set of two trays these were from primark four pound down to two pound and they're kind of like an aztec -y style again very like tropical themed absolutely love it and again it just goes with like my vibe and all of my outdoor living things that i can picture in the garden that i don't yet have but yes trays i think you can't go wrong with because you can pop your nibbles on pop your barbecue bits put a bit of salad your condiments all of that jazz and then oh, 
So this was £4, and I can't remember if it was TK Maxx or HomeSense. Something is telling me TK Maxx, but... Ow! Let's hit my glasses. <laughs> I got this huge chip and dip bowl. I mean, you could wear this as a sombrero, couldn't you? Look at that. Hey, I'm back in Mexico. Look at that balancing. So either that or I've got really flat headed, but... <laughs> But yes, I love this. And for £4, I just thought, why not? It's by the brand City Sheep. 100% melamine. But yes, how great. Or if you didn't want to put chips and dips, you could have loads of fresh fruit and melted chocolate. <gasps> how amazing would that be? Uh, yep, I'm losing room there. But this is where I say I get a little carried away with cocktail makers. So this, I don't quite remember how I obtained this. I don't know if it was a free gift or someone bought it for me but it is a cocktail shaker by the pink elephant and the pink elephant is three ounces pink lemonade two ounces vodka an ounce grenadine and two ounces of ginger ale don't know never tried that but yes yeah, so i've got a little um pink elephant tipsy cocktail shaker i also have a matching one from primark i think this was 250 or three pound again it just matches the tropical vibe and it's got everything in there like the ice cubes the stirrers some straws everything that you need and then the proper one i've got a smirnoff cocktail maker but this one it's got different cocktails on the top so all around here is different names of cocktails and as you spin it it tells you what ingredients you need oh my god when I get my drinks trolley, fingers crossed I can get one before Christmas because I went to my B&M store and spoke to the lady. She said she's going to try and help us out. It was quite a uh, kerfuffle in a scene, but bless her. She was like, I'm going to try and sort you out. So thank you very much. Fingers crossed I do. But yes, this can go straight on the drinks trolley when I get it. Cosmo, vodka, Grand Marnier and cranberry juice. Yes, love that. And then it's even got like the proper thing you just... You can imagine me at my drinks, Charlie, can't you? What do you want tonight, B? Tia Maria? No. Cosmo? Woo! God, that's going to be a very lively household. Our household is going to be. But yes, three cocktail shakers. So safe to say, you know what my vibe is for when I have a barbecue. And then, oh my God, what have I got in here? I can't even lift it. Right, fine. so I think these were about two pound. It's a sixty-piece cutlery set from George Home. So I've got me nice thick green ones from my aunt and uncle, and then I picked up a pink set as well because I mean, can never have too much, eh? And then these I picked up from Cherries, I believe, or online pound store, and they're literally just little ice lolly makers. Those are in the shape of umbrellas, which I thought were really cute, and they're just like your standard ones. So they're great as well. Like if you do like chopped up fruits, you can make your own like little fruit lollies. Probably more aimed at children, but me and Brandon love an ice cream and a lolly. Oh my god, everything's falling down. Everything's falling around me. <laughs> but oh my god, I love these. Now where did I get these? I've only got these recently as well. I can't remember. I think it was a bargain shop or Tesco perhaps. This is you normally pick up at Tesco or HomeSense. It's called Joey and they do loads of wacky stuff. You'll see or you would have seen it. I don't know which order these are going up in but the kitchen I have a lot of Joey stuff and they're just calling on the cop holders. Oh TK Maxx sorry I've just seen the price. $3.99 they were. TK Maxx or HomeSense. It's one of their stickers on the back, you know. So we've got those. And then this was actually a gift. Well, not a gift. But when you spend money at HomeSense and TK Maxx, they have like a rewards program. And I earned so many points and they said you've got a reward. So I wanted a new little tray. Not that I need any more trays. So this, once again, is like an Aztec print. And it comes with a little matching tea towel. So I have yet another tray, but as I say, I don't think you can go wrong with little bits like that because then if you don't want to have a say like for outdoor living, that's great. A nice little tray like in a hallway, a little trinket dish. Absolutely love all that. And then, oh no, this is what I mean. I always seem to buy in duplicates. So 
these would have all been from like a b and and Poundland. Let's have a look. So I've got a pack of 15 piece tropical reusable ice cubes. So these are the ones that you pop in and then you just get them out, wash them, pop them back in and here we go. I've also got a pack of 16 unicorns. <laughs> Why do I need this? Who knows? And then I've got, oh my goodness. I've got two packs, so in total I've got 60 reusable ice shapes. So they're all just like pineapples and little limes and they're all different colours. So I've got 60, 75, 85, 90, 91 reusable ice cubes. I'm going to need like a fridge freezer drawer literally just for ice cubes, ain't I? Oh my goodness. And then, right... This I picked up in a B&M can tell by the sticker, £1.69. Again, I don't know if I'm going to have this now for like kitchen wear maybe, but I've just got it for outdoor living at the moment because it's a tray. But trays I don't think you can go wrong with. And actually that would be a nice little like dinner tray. That's actually a good little size. Oh, I might keep that out for now actually. Shall I? I might keep that out for now. I fancy a new little tray for the summer months. And then, oh, I think these were one fifty or £2. Obviously, I picked up two. These are from Ikea. Just really big glass salad bowls. You can tell how filthy they are just when I held it up to the camera. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing. And also, all of this stuff, whenever I move, has got to be, like, cleaned, obviously, before I use it. Good job I've got plenty of sponges and cleaning supplies, ain't it, my lovelies? Because otherwise, we're going to be having a right nightmare with all of this. And then, last but not least, my lovelies cocktail jam jars so i think i picked these up in bnm once again i'm not going to get them all out because i've got two of each but they are just little pineapple jam jars so i got two rose gold ones and two black ones and as i say yes absolutely love that if you're having a cocktail love having it or like an iced coffee say if the evening's coming to a close you want a bit of a coffee sorry about the noise jam jars are perfect but my lovelies, oh my god, you can see it all behind me. That is our outdoor living, garden, barbecue, all the essentials, you know, that you need for moving out has been covered. <laughs> so, my lovelies, that is another video done. As I say, I've got no clue yet which order these are going up in. So, this could well be the last one. It might be the first one. I have no clue yet. I don't know what's going on with it. I just know that there's a lot of bags everywhere in the house and we need to get them gone, right? Because Mama G is sick of having, like, almost an obstacle course throughout the hallway because she can't walk anywhere because I've just got me stuff everywhere and anywhere. So, let me know what your favourite bit of this is. I cannot wait till when we actually get the garden. I want a nice big shed. That is my thing. I want a nice big barbecue because I'm probably going to be the one doing the barbecue cooking. And I want, going to be maybe an unpopular opinion, a greenhouse. I really want my own little greenhouse to like grow my own fruit and vegetables. People might think, well, that's weird. But my nan and granddad always had a greenhouse. And I just love the thing like whenever we go to a garden centre, I just want to buy seeds and grow stuff. So yeah, that is my thing. But I think I've pretty much got it covered. If the boys are coming round, if the football's on, if I'm having the girls round and we're going to have a gym fling night, if we're just going to have loads of food, plenty of cocktails, and if there's a few kids, I've even got them covered with my old little Disney stuff. So, I've got to put all this away now. <laughs> Fun life for me. But if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment, please, of anything else that you think I need. The only thing I can think of is I've got the dinner plates, maybe like some side plates and side plastic bowls because I haven't really got those, and maybe a few more plastic glasses. I've only got four plastic tumblers, so I could do maybe with some more of them, maybe like some plastic wine glasses that I think can you get in like Poundland and places like that. Please do let me know down below, as I say, I haven't moved out yet. This would be the first time. So I'm literally just winging it. I'm going by and thinking, what would I need? And then hoping that I do need it. And then I don't miss everything out. But yes, let me know what your favourite bit was. As I say, do you like the game side, the cocktail shaker side, or just the general bits? Oh my God, my chip and dip bowl. Who loves my chip and dip bowl? And comment down below if you remember when I showed this in the hall. As I say, sure it was TK Maxx. That's cool to me. But yes. I'm going to stop rabbiting and let you get on with the day because I've got a plenty more filming to do and I've got to get these all packed away once again. Woohoo! So yes, take care, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Bye!